Thank you very much for this opportunity and greetings everyone. My name is Riyan Habib and today I'm going to talk about social and special perspectives on urban water. And uh, currently, if you see at urban water security, there is an increasingly, it is increasingly impacted by climate-led extremities such as drought and floods. So if we uh, look at the evolving definition of urban water security, we see a very shifting paradigm from a technocratic demand supply framework to a more community-oriented perception of their environmental risks. So it becomes uh, important to ask is, why is there the need to embed social spatial perspectives in dealing with multifaceted climate risks such as urban water? To answer this question, I selected a drought and uh, flooding as one of the uh, investigative factors which were done at a spatial level and then followed by a quantitative social survey at one of the hotspots. From the spatial uh, results, we found that there were concurrent overlaps between drought and flooding incidences in a part of the city. And uh, uh, when we investigated further with social perceptions, uh, the results were that <clears throat> it came to light that the people in the locality had greater impact of drought in comparison to uh, urban flooding, where many of the studies, uh, it contrasted with many of the studies which reported urban flooding as one of the main uh, risk factors in those areas. Similarly, uh, almost 50% of the people reported that water scarcity and urban flooding has decreased over the past uh, years, again, which in contrast with the climate studies in those regions, which say that there is an increase in climate-led extremities, be it in deficit or surplus uh, rainfall. Now, despite this contrast, there was some general consensus between, in with respect to the water scarce and flooding months here. And uh, although uh, the duration of months were same, but the duration or the impact of those uh, uh, water scarcity and flooding events were different with, for different residents based on their uh, socioeconomic profile, etc. So, uh, from the overall results, uh, what we can see is that differential water risks were perceived at spatial and social level. And even there is a like, a, it was a very, uh, even uh, the micro and micro level, as we move from macro to micro, there's a difference in spatial and social levels. And the duration of the drought and flooding events, although they converge, yet the residents failed to uh, converge at a, a long-term climate trends, which is like there is a lack of climate change sensitivity. And these per, maybe this perception of droughts and flooding was due to the increment in, or the due to facilitation due to physical infrastructure and So finally to conclude and come back to our original question, if there is a need to embed such social spatial feedbacks, Yes, social special perspective is a necessary lens to reconcile between scales of assessment and climate change adaptation. Thank you.